Hi everyone, my name's Chris and I'm an Education Liaison Officer at Edgehill University. But in a previous role, I was actually a sports coach, teaching physical education classes to primary and secondary school children across East Lancashire. So this little video is going to talk to you about what makes a successful student teacher, but also a little bit about the application process for any teaching degrees. So I've picked out a couple of really important skills that student teachers need. The first is to be creative. So creative with your lesson plan and creative with how you're going to teach a topic to students, no matter whether that's primary or secondary. Being adaptable and flexible as well. So whatever situation or scenario arises, you're able to deal with it effectively and calmly. Communication too. So actually being able to communicate not only with the students in your class, but with the staff that you might work with, so teacher assistants, head teachers, other class teachers, but also the parents of your students as well. And then finally is your commitment, enthusiasm and passion for teaching. Teaching is not just a job, it's a lifestyle. And that's really important to show that commitment, passion and enthusiasm when you're applying to any teaching course at university because universities want to see how you've demonstrated and evidenced those particular skills and abilities. And a good way to do that is obviously first point of call is your personal statement. So talking about any work experience that you've done. Now it's not essential that you do any work experience, but it is desirable because actually, how do you know that you wanna be a teacher if you've not done any work experience? So if you can get someone at school, whether that's primary or secondary, depending on where you wanna teach, that's fantastic. So a great starting point is your old primary or secondary school. Going into lots of different classes, different schools if you can as well, but chatting to teachers as well about uh, behaviour management techniques or uh, topics and creativity is really good to do. But also having a look at journals or articles about teaching, checking up on current educational issues or technology in the classroom, or reading up about the national curriculum at the age you want to teach is fantastic. And what universities want to see in both your personal statement and any future interviews is how you reflect on those experiences. So not only what you've done, but what have you learned and how is that going to help you as a future teacher? Now, in terms of entry requirements, it obviously depends on the university that you're looking at. But for most teaching qualifying degrees called QTS or qualified teacher status, most universities want you to have at least five GCSEs, including your maths, English and science for primary at grade four or above, and especially your English and maths at grade four or above for secondary. And in terms of A-level and BTEC subjects, it depends entirely on the course that you want to pick. You might find that with primary and early years courses, they're quite happy with you doing any A-level or BTEC. And for secondary, they may prefer you to have studied the subject that you want to teach at A level or BTEC. So it's really important to check each individual university to see what they require from you in terms of grades, but in terms of subjects as well. Now I mentioned interviews a little bit earlier. Interviews for any teaching based course, a QTS based course are essential. So universities will want to interview you for any teaching based course. And it's nothing to be worried about. It's not, it's not like the Alan Shrug and the Apprentice. It's much more informal than that. So it might be a full day where you might get the chance to chat to current students, uh, speak to tutors as well, but also you might get a tour of the university. And as part of the interview day, it might not just be made up of an interview, it might be other things too. So it might be an individual interview where you sit in front of a lecturer or a panel of people, including maybe local teachers at a local school. And they just wanna find out a little bit about you and why you wanna be a teacher also about your reflections on your experience, but also a bit, a little bit around your own knowledge of that national curriculum for that age or educational issues. But they may ask you to do a written task as well. So you might have to write about a current educational issue going on at the moment. Or equally, they might want you to look at a group activity. So that might be teaching a, a little bit of a class or a session, or it might be working with other student teachers um, to actually talk about a scenario or an artifact and how you would deal with it too. But on top of that, 
you may have to complete what's called a DBS check before you start your teaching course, which is Disclosure Bar in Service check. And that's just to make sure that you can work with children and possibly vulnerable adults if you're working with that age range too. So hopefully those little hints and tips will really help you for any teaching-based degree. Good luck with it and thanks for listening.